go to Fishhook Senior High School and yeah I'm 17 years old I'm doing grade 12 and yeah I grew up in this township Masipumelele There were lots and lots of challenges in the township we, were, we knew about the high risks of HIV and AIDS there were alcohol abuse, the teenage pregnancies that was happening to my friends as well. Living in this township as a teenager is really hard because first of all you must know who you are and know what you want to do. As I'm in grade 12 so next year I'm planning to go study in tertiary and yeah I want to do public relations and um, basically my plan is to do that, be more successful and to just work with my community to make them more proud of their students and their teenagers. Being ne HIV negative, that to me, that's just another whole thing that just brings out more and more confidence and I, I try to maintain that status because as I said I have very big dreams and I have lots of things that I still want to do and just being HIV negative it gives me all the right all the right power and energy to just say you can do this you can do that and you can succeed it gives me really great confidence and all the power to do what I want to do My name is Fezeka Kwebeni. I'm a learner um, in Masipumelele High. I'm doing grade 11 this year. We are very, very outgoing people at the townships. We smile every day, but behind the smile, there is a lot of tears and bruises that not even one person can ever experience, especially girls, because we experience a lot of a lot of rapes, crime, a lot of that, because it is done to us, because we are exposed to drugs and also, and it is very easy to get drugs in here. It is very easy, and you cannot, you can never say that my child doesn't do this, my child doesn't do that, because we also do wrong things, we make mistakes. Well, I have a lot to do, I have a lot to do and I need my health with me, I need a lot of energy because as the time goes on my parents will have to, to let me go, you know, I have to stand up by myself and I have to be independent and be a lady that knows what she wants. That's why I want to maintain my status because when you are HIV positive, I have had friends that were HIV positive and they had to sacrifice everything, their living, their living style, everything that I had because once you have it, there's no turning back. Um, I learned that there are three steps to follow, which is ABC, which is you abstain, have no sex, have no sexual intercourse, and then you be faithful to yourself and to the person that you are in love with, which is you, 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 you must be honest with what you want. You must basically tell him what you want. You must not think for him, you must think for yourself that if he says that I'm not HIV positive and you don't have enough proof, you mustn't believe him. So that's why being faithful mean. And then, um, which is Condomize, it's, it's, it's one of the famous words these days, um, which is using a condom. My message to my peers, um, it is that um, we should stay more aware because we know what is going on outside and we should keep our maintain our status the way it is and um, just be just be more more real I mean with yourself and just tell the person that you love with that no more I will no longer tolerate what you tell me. Just be more independent and stand up for what you want. My message to you all my peers First of all, I'm going to start with the girls. It's not easy to just let go of a person that you're involved with, but try like think of what you want, think of your future. And please, I know, I know you're probably saying, "Oh no, please, just try to be more realistic." That's not going to happen. You won't ever succeed. Use your inner flame. Use what you, what you know is the best for you. And don't let anyone to try to try step on your toes. Just. Don't let them.